Good morning, you guys. So it is actually not morning. It is 6.25 p.m. I'm just so used to starting my vlogs off earlier, so it's just weird for me to not be saying good morning or something. But anywho, welcome or welcome back to my channel, you guys. My name is Chanel. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So we have a pretty chill vlog this week. So you guys are gonna be helping me prep for my trip because I got a lot of packing to do and I told myself I was not gonna wait till the last minute. I leave, not tomorrow, but I leave the morning after so I basically still only have a day to get everything together and I gotta go get my nails done. My lashes are done as you can see. And I nice and full. I want it to be packed like last week. I kid you not. But things just kept popping up and yeah. So yeah y'all, your girl is finally going on this vacation. I've been talking and talking and talking and talking about. So Ryland's birthday is on Friday. My baby is turning four years old. So I have to pack my stuff. I have to pack, I have to pack her stuff. Um, and then John is going to pack his own stuff. But I literally am so excited. And I have so much stuff, and I literally just did an outfit haul. So I ordered some stuff from a Pretty Little Thing and Shein for my vacation. I'm about to show you guys what I got for my vacation real quick, and then I have to clean out my closet, but I'm explain that after my vacation stuff. All right, so everything is pretty much consolidated into these few little bags because I was trying to clean up. So yeah. I hope this is everything, because I kind of just threw everything together. But... Oh, this is not everything. Hold on, let me let me get my life. Let me find the rest of this stuff and then I'll come back. Two seconds later. All right, you guys. So first, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Pretty Little Thing. Y'all know I love me some Pretty Little Thing. I'm always shopping on there. Like, so first up, I have this bikini set, like with um, beads, like stone. I think this is so cute. It gives like a like natural tropical kind of vibe. And then I got the matching top for it. Y'all, tell me this is not cute. Tell me this is not a freaking cute. I wish I could hold this better. Because this is not a try-on haul, but this is so cute. And then I got this knit maxi skirt, which I thought was so cute. I cannot wait to style this. So cute. And I will link everything down below in the description box, as usual. And then, y'all, I got these pants, these cargo pants, because I have an outfit that I'm actually going to be wearing with these. They are so cute. They're like wide legs. And I'm definitely wearing this and taking pictures on my trip. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. So you'll see my outfits. And the last thing I got from them, y'all know I love a bag. Y'all know bags are my thing. Like, I'm I'm the bag lady. Like, I just love purses. So I got this super cute. This clutch is so cute. This white clutch. And it buttons and zips. And it's just so cute. I saw it on the website and I was like, I have to have that. I, I have to. It's kind of like a texture thing, but it's like glowing in the camera. I don't know why. You can kind of see it there, but it's so cute. So from Shein, Shein. I've been, I've been just trying to lay off on the Shein, but I was like, I need something quick and cheap for my vacation right now. So that's literally what this website is made for. So first up, we got this bikini. Super cute. This one also has like detailing. It has like the acrylic rings on it. It's so cute. The color is so cute. I got this scarf like this headscarf to go with it it's tied right now that's why it looks like this but just a regular like scarf so cute and the quality on this is actually really good and then I got this skirt this goes like boho hipster I love stuff like this like I don't wear stuff like this often but I have a few pieces like this that I have worn and I love Stuff like this and this skirts like material like it's so nice it's, I feel like it's gonna keep me cool then I got this skirt as you can see I'm trying to get into my maxi skirt era I guess and this one has a slit actually so I don't know what I'm gonna wear with this yet I haven't thought of an outfit for it but I thought it was cute so I got it and then I also got this top which you tie the sides the sides are open and you tie the sides to give it like that Tide effect and that's how this looks and then I got a basic tank top basic white tank top you can't go wrong we're having multiple of these like it's a classic it's basic and it's cute 
And then last but not least, y'all, I got these super cute. Y'all know I love fur. I got these super cute furry slippers, which I'm definitely taking on my trip with me because we're going to be renting a house. So I'm going to need some shoes to walk around the house in. So that's what these are. You can actually walk around in these outside. The soles are really good, but they are so cute. I don't know if I'm going to take them outside, but they, y'all, these are so cute. It's probably like my one of my favorite things that I bought. All right, y'all. So now that we have gotten the mini haul out of the way, I need to clean out my closet. If you are new to my page, every season, because I have no space in my apartment, my closet is like, that's my closet. You're going to see it if you haven't seen it already. But basically, I have to change my closet out every season because I, I don't have enough space to put all my clothes. So I have my winter and fall clothes in there now. I'm about to switch to my spring and summer clothes. So that way I can lay everything out and see what I have because there's some stuff that I need to take on my trip with me that I don't have out right now they're all in like those those bags i'm, I'm gonna show you <sighs> this is one of the bags i have another smaller bag in the living room with the rest of my summer and spring stuff so i need to lay all this stuff out organize it see if there's anything i want to get rid of which i think when i put it away i actually did that so this was all stuff that i was planning on keeping but i could change my mind i'm gonna go back through it and look again but about to do that but before I dump these things out I'm actually going to just go ahead and take everything out of the closet that's like fall winter fold it up and so when I take this stuff out they'll just be ready to go ahead and put straight into the bags and I can just hang and fold this stuff up with no issue so that's what we're about to do right now day so last night I got so overwhelmed with the amount of freaking clothes that I have that I just sat on the bed I didn't really finish until like midnight and I still wasn't done I had to get up this morning and finish getting my closet and dresser together so yeah well, here we are packing at the last freaking minute like I did not want to do so what I'm about to do now is get my like toiletries makeup and all that stuff together real quick from the bathroom so everything that I pretty much need from in here together um john is getting his clothes <clears throat> john is getting his clothes together right now and i already picked out rylan stuff but i just i just have to pack it into the suitcase so i have to do that i have to pick out my outfits for the trip which i already have a few in mind but i um have to like pack them and get my shoes i'd have to go back down to the storage unit to get some more shoes that are still down there yeah it's just a lot First things first, my aunt actually bought me this. I don't know if I ever showed y'all this. This Rio de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream like travel gift set, which is carry-on friendly. I'll take this with me, y'all. I actually just started using the Boom Boom Cream. I was trying to save it completely for vacation, but I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and try it. It smells so freaking good. Like, I understand the hype. It also comes with this mini little spray, which was the one I was talking about when I went and bought the pink one when I was in Atlanta. And I was like, I already have like the most popular one and this is like perfectly travel size i also have these two travel bottles that i'm about to fill up with my body wash and take this with me i'm gonna put this in the same container as the um boom boom cream so i bought this oh sorry it's like dripping because i just use it in the shower but i bought the dr bronner's castile soap but i got the um hemp rose scent y'all this smells so freaking amazing like when i go to atlanta i always go to the bubble tea spot in the mall and get the dragon and rose bubble tea and this smells exactly like that bubble tea so every time i use this i want that bubble tea so i'm about to go get me some because we actually flying to atlanta tomorrow which is going to be a part of this vlog but i'm just going to pour this in the little bottles real bold of me to not be doing this over the sink right as much as I love this stuff, I'm like, should I take something else or should I take two bottles of that? Because the bottles are kind of small. Like, I feel like I'll use this in like one day if I take two showers. So, 
So I just made the executive decision just to take two bottles of this because I do have some stuff at my parents' house. So I'm not packing like a toothbrush, um, deodorant and that because I have all that stuff in Atlanta because we're actually going to be driving from Atlanta to where we're going. So yeah. Y'all, I did that so perfect. I didn't spill nothing. And boom. We got our soap. So I'm about to put these in. Oh. All right, we're gonna do it nice and tight so that they don't spill. You gotta shake them up because you know on the plane they be throwing stuff around. I think I'm gonna just put this on my carry on though. But it's gonna be in here, so even if it do spill, it's just gonna be on these things and I can just wipe it. And that is packed. So now I want to take some more rose water because I like spritz, and I actually did not spritz my face. But this is like done. See, it's a little bit in there, but nothing is coming out. So I'm about to mix this because I have a big bottle of rose water so I'm gonna put that in here this can actually go in that same pouch too because this is only one fluid ounce so it's carry-on safe and I didn't even spritz my face today with those ones. wow I'm an idiot I forgot I opened this it just like splashed all over my clothes I don't think it's gonna leave a stain it's like rose water I hope it doesn't leave a stain it's my first time wearing this all right my makeup bag is done, and y'all, I'm so mad that I did that. Like, I, don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> that was so stupid. But I also have this little travel kit that my aunt got me. It has like a brush and all of that, a scrunchie, a claw clip, and it's just mad cute. So I'm taking this with me as well. This is going to be on my carry-on. These two things, my makeup bag right here is pretty much done I don't think I need to put anything else in there um, I have that one body spray I think I'm gonna take another body spray and then an, an actual perfume so I have to go figure out what I'm gonna take with that I still gotta get my jewelry together I gotta go pack my clothes like it's just got a lot of stuff to do so I think I'm pretty much done in here I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to put this stuff in the suitcase so I can just like Tetris it and try to get everything to fit properly without it being overpacked I also have to pack my shoes I also have to pack um, my purses so it's just a lot as you can see it's a complete freaking mess in here my closet is pretty much I have to reorganize the bottom I just have so much freaking clothes y'all like I don't know I'm gonna have to go back through this stuff and just either start wearing the stuff I want to take pictures in and get the pictures or I'm just gonna have to start just donating and selling the rest of it so I got these well I've had these for a while these packing cubes from Amazon so I have used these before, I used them for Vegas, and they actually do help a lot. So I have a couple of things in here. This is my carry-on bag, which I'm gonna wash my sheets. I don't like putting suitcases on my bed, but I'm about to wash my sheets when I get back, and we're not sleeping here tonight, so whatever. And so I'm taking this one piece that I actually got from a sample sale in Chelsea Market last year that I completely forgot I had. And I'm taking, this swimsuit so these two swimsuits are going i'm not taking the tan one with the beads i'm gonna save that for something more like tropical i guess taking my um louis vuitton purse with the gold chain i cannot remember the cousin or calcin i think it's called bag taking these cargo jeans right here and i'm gonna wear it with this hot pink crop top my versace jeans couture bag that i got with the hot pink writing on it and yeah, I'm really excited about that outfit because I've been dying to wear that bag. And the, that's the worst part for me, packing-wise, is trying to figure out which bags I'm going to take. Because I want to take all of them. I love my babies. I love my purses. But I can't take all of them. So this is going to be my carry-on. And I'm going to put some shoes under here. And whatever other shoes. My expensive shoes. I don't carry nothing expensive. I don't put it in my check-in. It has to be with me because I don't trust TSA. I keep hearing people getting their stuff stolen from TSA. You're not stealing my stuff. You're not stealing my stuff. I'm taking some of these booty shorts because it's gonna be hot and when we go to like certain things, I don't need to look super cute because I just need to be comfortable because we're gonna be doing a lot of walking. So I'm taking these and a couple of t-shirts, but I'm trying to just get everything together so I know what I'm wearing when and where. And we're also going to the mall, which like I just said, I don't need to be buying no more clothes, but I might end up buying some more clothes. It's not gonna be a lot, probably like one or two pieces. Like I'm seriously like done with clothes right now. I didn't remember having so much spring and summer clothes, so now my closet is even more stuffed, and I'm just like, eh. it's 
about it. So, yeah. So I am pretty much packed up. So let's see if I can adjust. Alright, so this is how everything looks with the packing cubes. And then I have some shoes that I'm just gonna put in here. I feel like I had a shoe bag like that came with the packing cubes, like a shoe bag or a um laundry bag or something that I could put my shoes in, but yeah, because I'm not putting my shoes in my suitcase like there. And then I have my other shoes in here. Which I decided to take my Fendi sneakers because I never wear them, so I'm going to actually wear them. Now, I feel like I only wore them like three times and I've had them, not even, maybe two times and I've had them since, yeah, it's been a while. I've had them for like four years. And my dad forgot his toiletry bag when he was here, so now I got to put this in there. It's giving me less space for my stuff. And then in my carry-on, I just have my purses, so I got my purse in the dust bag right here and this this dust bag is like so wrinkled I don't even know this is the right dust bag for this purse but because I have like four no I have um yeah I do have I've four Louis bags so I don't know but I just put that in there I don't remember if this came with a dust bag but if it did I can't find it so it's just going like this it's furry so I'm not too worried about it getting like scratched or anything like that because it's plush so and I got this Gucci hat in here and then I have this little purse Hold on, my phone runner. Alright guys, I am downstairs at my storage unit. I have to get my Gucci slides and I think I have another pair of shoes that I want that are in here. Yeah, I came all the way down here and I don't even see them. Like they're not even down here. I don't know where they are. So I'm gonna have to go back upstairs and check now and see um if they're in my closet, which I just looked in my closet and I didn't see them, so that's weird. Let me see. Yeah, and there's no other shoe boxes, so I don't know. All right, y'all, we switched to the phone camera because my camera has to go up because I know I can't carry all this stuff right now. So I got my carry-on, I got my check-in bag, and I'm leaving my apartment a wreck. I usually don't like doing that because who wants to come home to like a dirty place, but this time was just too hectic and yeah, we didn't have time to really straighten up everything so one thing i love about this bag is that i'm gonna show you hold on it actually slides onto your luggage so that it won't fall off so it makes it a lot easier to like roll and handle especially like when you have a toddler with you say hi bye. hi all right so, so we're getting ready to leave i just finished combing her hair <laughs> so we're about to actually go because i went to the eye doctor last week because i was out of contacts and i cannot stand traveling with no contacts because if something happens to my contacts, I'm just going to be blind. Like, that's it. That's the only thing. Like, I'm not going to be able to see for real because I am blind. So, luckily for me, we leave tomorrow morning and they came today. I was hoping that they would come um, before I left. So, we got to go over there and pick them up before they close. I ordered glasses too, but they didn't say the glasses were there. Maybe they're there too. I promise you if I got um, glasses, that's what I'm wearing to the airport tomorrow. Because, yeah, it's just easier. But we gotta go do that. And then we're gonna go and go to John's No, I gotta go get my nails done and then we're gonna go to John's parents' house. <laughs> What's up guys? So we are at the airport right now. Getting ready to board our flight in a few minutes. These are the nails. <laughs> Hello everyone, we'll be leaving shortly. Mm -hmm. What's up you guys? I know I look a mess, y'all. I was sleeping on that plane. I went to my parents' house and was sleeping, so I just brushed my hair real quick. But we are we just picked up the rental car. Um so we're meeting Sean and Mary at Whataburger. So I tried in and out for my birthday last year. So I had to get Whataburger. They opened two Whataburgers, I think, in Atlanta. So we're at one of them and we're about to go and, and eat, but we just waiting for Sean and Mary to get here. Oh yeah, I'm tired. Uh, tired is honestly not even a word, me and John. But 
I'm excited to try this food. Y'all know I love to try new food. And I see right on the door, they got a Dr. Pepper shake. I'm most definitely getting that because I love Dr. Pepper. So, yeah, we're going to try that. Hopefully, this food is good because I always be hearing people talking about Whataburger and In-N-Out. Like, yeah. And I like In-N-Out. John said In-N-Out was okay. Like, he wasn't, like, crazy about it. But I thought it was really good. I would, I would get it every time I go to the West Coast. But luckily, they open this over here. So, we're about to try that. And I'll see you guys when I'm trying this food. Hey, I got a regular, I got a regular burger with spicy ketchup, fries. Mmm, the spicy ketchup is good. Man, about the cup of shake. This is good. But we got to try this burger. It is good. I'm trying to figure out what's trying to make this spicy. Like, yeah. So we have the mall now. We're in Papaya. Mary's looking for some stuff to take on the trip. But I'm looking. I really shouldn't be buying nothing. Y'all, I already told y'all I got too much clothes. So I shouldn't be looking and I shouldn't be buying. But I know I'm probably going to get something. So cute. got my bubble tea y'all this is what i was talking about when i said um this is what the dr brana's body wash reminds me of so i had to get it we in target right now just picking up some toiletries so i got me some deodorant john got some face wash i got some more of the um mouthwash and some q-tips so we just gonna walk around and see what else we would need oh we gotta get some pajamas i want to get a couple of pool floats because we're gonna have our own pool so i'm trying to see i think a watermelon one is cute and then i can get like a long one like this they only 540 so oh but then they have these for 270 See if I can get one for Rye. This one's cute. But they say age is nine plus. They don't have one for kids. Like, y'all look at these cute cups. Oh my goodness. I should get one of these cute cups. Look. What's the spiral cup? The straw. Should I get it? Should I get it? Oh, you saying if I want for once? For once, it's if I want. Oh, we should get. You don't want water for us now. What are we gonna be able to do that? In in the backyard by the pool. That would be so fun. But we don't even know if they got a hose. Fine. So we'll when we go down there, we'll see if they have it. Oh, this is so cute. I hope she got one that fit, cause I'm not getting it. And what? What? Like we a cheap little. Oh, we should get fireworks. We should get fireworks. Can you even shoot fireworks? Huh? We should get water These are, that's a paint blaster, not. That's a play paint blaster. Really oh, well, those three are water guns. Water you want to get it? Yes. As if they're not about to see that big box of water guns in the car. Like, <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to sneak up on them like that. But, yeah, I wanted to get some water shoes for $22. Mm -hmm. She's going to be walking barefoot out there. I want to get some flip flops, but I don't even see her size in those. I don't know. Does she need a swim diaper still? Or no. you think? Well, maybe, yeah. Is she pooping the. Yeah. <laughs> so these are like 20 12 $10. So I'm trying to figure out if these just real cheap, if I'm even going to float on them. Because they're so cheap. No. All right, so I guess we got everything. So we'll see. But when we get down there, if we got to run to the store, then we just got to do that. Good morning, you guys. It is the next morning, and I'm about to get in the shower. I know I look a mess, but I just wanted to come on here and end this vlog real quick because I didn't do it last night because it just got real hectic, so I was tired. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, 
I didn't really tell y'all about Whataburger. Whataburger was good. I think I prefer In-N-Out over Whataburger, but I will go back. I would give it like seven and a half out of ten. It was good. Like the burgers, the actual meat on the burgers was seasoned well, but it's just like basic, you know. But y'all, that spicy ketchup and that Dr Pepper shake, chef's freaking kiss. That ketchup was good. I will see you guys in my next vloggy vlog. The next vlog is going to be my vacation vlogs, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you will get to see that. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. But on that note, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.